Earning the top spot in your sector on the All-America Research Team is a significant achievement. Earning the top spot in two sectors is a rare accomplishment indeed. Mark Schoenbaum of ISI Group manages to do just that. With these twin victories, Schoenbaum claims a total of 10 first place appearances since his 2005 team debut. And in so doing, he earns a place in the All-America Research Team Hall of Fame. I think the biggest challenge with covering a pharmaceutical stock or a biotech stock is that a lot of the value, a lot of what determines how these stocks move, certainly not all of the value in all years, but over the long term, what really differentiates the good companies or the good stocks from the, from the underperforming stocks are companies that just successfully develop drugs. That is, they have a successful research and development process. It is extremely difficult to look at a drug that's not yet through its human development, through its human clinical trials, and predict whether or not it's going to work. And in the end, that's a lot of what we do. I spend a lot of my time trying to predict something that really, in the end, is often unpredictable. And that is a huge challenge, and it's also been a huge barrier to some people getting interested in investing in biotech, especially on the biotech side, but also on the pharmaceutical side, because this reliance on predicting success for pipeline products, and, to, and especially as somebody without a science background, many of my clients, not, certainly not all, that can look like a very intimidating project, and indeed it is. On, on the biotech side right now, we are in a virtually unprecedented bull market. I think what's happening is that is there appears to have been an improvement in research and development productivity. This is a very difficult business. There's been a lot of failures. What we've had over the last year or two is an unprecedented number of successes. And you couple that with an FDA, a Food and, uh, food and Drug Administration, which is the ultimate arbiter of value in my group. And the FDA historically has largely been a bit antagonistic towards industry. That, that's, a, that's a broad overstatement, but the, the FDA has, has been difficult. In the last year or two, the FDA has been quite cooperative. And so you have these two changes. You have improved R&D productivity and, a, and an FDA that appears to be partnering with industry to get these drugs approved, which has created this unprecedented time of, of fantastic fundamentals in biotech. So, I think there's no question on the biotech side that fundamentals are good. I think the biggest question in the debate that investors and I have is, are, are the stocks fully priced at this point? Are you paying for it? On the pharmaceutical side, that is the major pharmaceutical side, the big drug stocks, the Pfizer's of the world. Fundamentals there are also, uh, are also very good, but the, the interesting thing about, about pharma is that the valuations are cheaper still than on the biotechnology side. In general, there are exceptions, but in general, the valuations are better on the pharmaceutical side. So I think there's a little bit more value on the, on the uh, major pharma side than there is on the biotech side. But I, I would also argue that the fundamentals on the major pharma side are still lagging the biotech side to some degree. But I think there's quite a bit of value on the, phar on the pharma side. So in general, I'm bullish on both sectors. I'm honestly probably a little bit more bullish on the major pharmas than I am at this point on the biotechs.